everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. Cancer or moon child, as we like to refer to you. Here are your cards from the teacup tarot deck and the time to shine deck for this week, starting the 4th of September. So let's have a look and see what the message the cards have for you this week. And here we are. So the first off, the overall energy is card five, unity. Now, this is about working well with other people. It's about teaching. It's about mentoring. It's about discussions, um, perhaps doing things in a different way. And on the illustration here, look, each of the angels have brought something different to the table for the benefit of everybody. So it's talking things over, it's compromise, it's learning new ways of working and working well together. And as if that isn't clear enough, your help or your hurdle card is three of coins. Again, is a card of teamwork. This is just what I've said here, everybody working together. And when everybody works together and does their own little bit, that's where the success can be found. Your guidance here, the Knight of Coins says, plan A, plan B, and if necessary, plan C. Need to be put into operation this week. She's the only knight of all of the four knights who isn't riding the motorbike really fast because she's looking at the map. But the good thing about this is, once she gets back on the bike, not only does she know exactly where she's going, she knows how to get there. So detailed planning is something you need to be mindful of this week. How can we help ourselves? The six of coins is lovely. This is the pennies from heaven card. This is wonderful gifts of abundance coming in to find you. Very often things you've been hoping for or dreaming of or working towards. So keep your eyes open this week. Pulling it all together, this card, the four of teacups, says look at the whole picture. And look, she's so concentrating and so focused on these three tiny teacups, which are in the background, which are in the past. She's missing this golden opportunity right beside her. So when you're making your plans, when you're looking at the situation, step back, look at the bigger picture. And then be ready to make some wise and sensible choices. Now, the two of coins is all about juggling. And here she is, look, on a unicycle and juggling all at the same time. So if that wasn't difficult enough, this card says just focus on balance. So that's work-life balance. It's financial balance. It also says you might have more than one option to choose from. So think them through carefully. So just looking at the tarot cards now, working with other people in a team, teaching, mentoring, discussions and meetings featuring this week. Planning, a detailed plan, looking in the long term, looking at the bigger picture. Staying balanced making sensible choices and making the most of this wonderful opportunity. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. Look at that, you've got three eights in the bottom row alone. That's lovely. Eight is all about abundance. Eight is all about achievement and success. So let's get the story now of what's happening. The nine of action comes in and says, focus on self-belief, self-support, 
keep going and stay motivated. And when you're making your choices, which we're talking about here, do what you know is the right thing to do. Follow your moral compass. So honesty, integrity and fairness, let those lead the way. Expect to get busy. That doesn't surprise me. We've got the balance card here. Busy new energy coming in. It's the end of delays. Lots going on at once. And time to make positive life changes. This is you finding what you're looking for. And it's focusing on what you do well. Doing what you love and loving what you do and being willing to make those positive changes. Focus on what could go right. Be mindful to focus on optimism and positivity. Clearly going to do that because here you are making your move, moving forward. Look, we can see the back of her head because she's already moved off. Following the sat-nav to success. So what a lovely week for you. Your mindfulness homework, therefore, working together, working effectively, looking at the long term and making balanced choices and keeping going, staying motivated. Because once you get your detailed plan together, here are the gifts of abundance coming in. This is you moving forward, doing what you know is right, making those positive and happy life changes. And here you are making your move, moving forward towards something good. Expect to get busy this week. Lots going on, new choices to make and a positive move forward. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It does make a huge difference. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading. So take care now and I'll see you here soon.